everyone, you are watching a special live stream bringing you by CGTN. This is Feng Yue. I'm now in Qixia in East China's Shandong province. On January the 10th, an explosion tore through a gold mine under construction here and 22 miners are still trapped underground after over 10 days of rescue operation. So right now, as you can see, there are a lot of rescue workers, uh, pieces of so many pieces of uh, machinery, as well as uh, professional teams on the side working around the block, trying to search for the trapped miners. Uh, for you, uh, it, for you to have a clear understanding of the rescue operation, I've got a picture here. You can take a closer look. So, this is the. This is the return air shaft of the uh, gold mine. You can understand it simply as the entrance of the mine. So the explosion happened at a depth of about 240 meters. And uh, after that, large amount of debris has stuck in the shaft. And so far, there are now a total of uh, 10 drill holes on the site. They are named from number 1 to number 10. Earlier, as we reported, the number three and number one and number three, these two drill holes have already reached the tunnels where my, some of the miners are trapped. So number three drill hole have uh, has already reached a depth of about 586 meters where 11 people are trapped. And uh, rescuers have been using the number three drill hole to keep contact and deliver supplies to the miners. Well, number one drill hole has reached the depth of about 637 meters where one person is trapped and uh, the other 10 person are still, uh, we're still unclear the whereabouts of the other 10 person, uh, other 10 people. And uh, uh, last night, last night doctors on the side uh, learned from the telephone conversation that one of the 11 people, one of the 11 people at the depth of about 586 meters has been in a coma due to the severe head injuries in the explosion and uh, two people are now experiencing mild uh, discomfort. The rest eight of them are in stable uh, conditions and these miners said they used to have contact with the one person in a tunnel lower than theirs, but they've lost the contact. Uh, they've, they haven't received any further response uh, from him in recent days. But they said this person has also got some injuries, but they're not clear about this, his situation in detail. Well, uh, this morning, an expert on the site told us that the one person uh, who's been in a coma are, uh, is in severe conditions and uh, his situation is not optimistic. So doctors on the side have uh, taught some basic knowledge about how to take care of the person in the coma and uh, asked the miners to give them feedback in a timely way. All right, let's uh, get closer while I'm going to explain more about these uh, drill holes to you. So there are now a total of uh, 10 drill holes on the site. Uh, just now we've introduced about the number one and number three. Well, about the number two and number five, these two holes have been abandoned either because they their drill bits are, uh, are stuck in the cracks uh, underground or there has been a deviation. And uh, number four, number six, and number nine, these three holes, these three holes will be used as detecting channel, which means rescuers will place life detecting uh, equipment down to the tunnel, trying to search for the 10 miners whose whereabouts are still unclear. And uh, number seven and number eight, these two tunnels will be used to pump the groundwater. Yes, uh, we've reported earlier that there's now groundwater in the tunnels, which will also be very, very dangerous to these miners. So, uh, Speaking of the number 10, number 10 drill hole, number 10 drill hole is very important. It's quite, it's right behind me. Let's take a closer look. It's right behind me. So it's still under, it's still under preparation. It haven't, it hasn't uh, started drilling yet, but uh, experts said that they are preparing to use it uh, about, uh, uh, in about tomorrow afternoon or later tomorrow night. The, what is so special about this drill hole is that it has a larger diameter uh, of about uh, 700 millimeters. So this drill hole can be used as 
a rescue channel to uh, to help lift the miners up to the ground. So as you can see, these workers are now uh, working around the hour, working around the clock, trying to put this drill machine to use as soon as possible. And this drill hole, it aims to reach the depth of about 580 of 86 meters where the 11 miners are trapped. So right behind this, right behind this drill hole is the number two. You can you can see the number tag over there. Is the number two drill hole which has been abandoned? Like we said, uh, it's because the drill bit of this. Uh, drilling if of this drilling machine has been stuck in the, in the cracks underground. This is because the geological conditions here are are quite complex. There are a lot of uh, crashed zones here, and it's really difficult for these drilling machines to uh, to to work precisely. And behind the Number two drill, drill, drill hole is the number three drill hole, which is the important one. It has already reached the 11 miners at the depth of 586 meters. Rescuers, has, uh, rescuers have since then uh, kept contact with these 11 miners through that number three drill hole. We can take a, we can take a look from this perspective. So the number three hole has been drilled through the tunnel at depth about 586 meters uh, on Sunday. And uh, at that time, rescuers kept hitting the drill pipe with a hammer and then they received the response from underground. Then they can confirm there are survivors underground. Since then, rescuers have been delivering supplies, including nutrient drinks, medication, uh, paper and pens, and also blankets and telephones down to the tunnel. Some of you might have already seen the notes uh, delivered by the miners trapped underground. And uh, the note says uh, they have 11 people together in that tunnel and they know there is another person in the tunnel lower than theirs and they said that they're exhausted and weak they need medication so there are now a lot of uh, vehicles a lot of vehicle on the side so we have to be very careful Right, last night, uh, last night, as rescuers were delivering nutrient solu nutrient solutions and medications down to the miners, they retrieved another note from the miners asking for more telephones. Uh, this is because, like we introduced, the number three drill hole is so narrow that every time after uh, after the miners finished the conversation with the doctors and experts on the surface. Rescuers have to retrieve the telephone wire, otherwise uh, they will be unable to deliver the supplies uh, down to the tunnel. But you know, all these, uh, all these, uh, arrest, uh, all these miners have been trapped underground for so many days, and uh, they are worried they would lose contact with the people with the people on the surface again. So rescuers soon delivered more telephones down to the tunnel as the backup.
Well, let's keep walking. I'll show you more drill holes on the site. For those who just tune in, this is the special live stream uh, bringing you by CGTN, and we are in Qixia, where an explosion tore through the gold mine on January the 10th, and 22 miners have been trapped underground for over 10 days. So far, we have already got contact with the 11 miners at depth of about 586 meters. Rescuers have uh, delivered nutrient solutions, medication, blankets, thermometers, pencils, and pen to them. They've also, they've also sent telephones to them so that it's more convenient for them to make, to make communication with the experts and doctors on the surface. So this, that one, that one, this is the number nine drill hole. Also, the newly added one, and uh, like we introduced earlier, it will it'll be used as a detecting channel, which means rescuers will place life detecting equipment down through this hole uh, to try to search for the 10 people whose whereabouts are still unclear. So, as you can see, it's really dusty here. We've learned that uh, the miners uh, have asked uh, ha have asked that uh, have asked for some uh, uh, pickles and ham sausages uh, and also milk congee. But doctors on the site says they've been trapped underground without food for so many days, and their stomachs are too sensitive to handle pickles or sausages. And after discussion, doctors agreed to deliver some millet congee and uh, probiotic yogurt in addition to nutrient drinks down to the tunnel uh, to the miners. closer look at the number one drill hole. Actually, uh, I've been stayed for the whole night and on Sunday to wait for the number one hole to get drilled through the tunnel. Uh, uh, at, about two, at about 5 a.m. on Monday, the number one hole has finally been drilled through the tunnel at depth of about 633 meters. Uh, rescuers kept hitting the drill pipe with a hammer, but they didn't receive any response from underground. And now, as you can see, rescuers are trying to place the telephone wires and cables down to the tunnel and trying to detect if there's any signs of life underground. This is the number seven. 
arrived here on uh, January the 12th. At that time, there were not so many rescue workers or uh, 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 or those, those are machines on the sides. But after a week, more and more rescuers and machinery have joined in the rescue effort. And when we arrived in Yantai, we actually encountered a, a team of rescuers in the airport. So these are the elements of the drill machine. So this is for the uh, drilling machine. So this is for the drilling machine. Mr. Chu told me that he's been working here for a week and he's actually from Hebei province uh, which is quite near uh, Beijing and he's uh, in charge of uh, the three the three drilling machines here so he, he told me that his main task is to make sure that all these three drilling machines will be uh, in normal operation in 24 hours and his teammates also live on the side, rescue side for uh, uh, so three of his teammates Teammates will leave on the rescue sites every day to make sure that these drilling machines won't have any problems. about 586 meters and among these among these 
Uh, 11 miners, one of them has been in a coma due to severe head injuries uh, in the explosion and the two are experiencing mild discomfort. Eight of them are in stable conditions. And these 11 miners told us that they used, have, they used to have contact with uh, one person at depth of about 633 meters, but they haven't received any response from uh, any res any further response from him rec in recent days so they're not clear about his situation in detail but they said that person has also got some injuries so now right now there are a total of uh, 10 drilling holes on the site uh, working for the rescue operation i'd like to explain a little bit background here you know there are only two ways to lift the miners up to the ground one is through the return air shaft uh, the one we just see the one we just saw you can uh, simply understand it as the entrance of the gold mine uh, under construction but like we said after the explosion there has been a lot of debris stuck in the shaft and the clearance has been one of the most difficult things in the uh, rescue operation so rescuers are now working around the clock to clear the debris stuck in the shaft in the meantime they're working on drilling holes to bring the uh, miners up to the ground so if the drill hole is large enough then rescuers can bring the miners to the ground through that drill hole that is the number 10 drill hole we we we're talking about so the number 10 drill hole has a diameter is about 700 millimeters it is the largest drill, largest drill hole on the site but it's still under preparation experts said that they are planning to uh, to put it into operation uh, tomorrow afternoon or later tomorrow night and this number 10 drill hole aims to uh, aims to reach the depth of about 586 meters where 11 uh, miners are trapped. Rescuers have been delivering nutrient solutions and medication down to the tunnel for the 11 miners, and uh, doctors uh, have been keep uh, have been have kept a uh, tracking of the physical and uh, psychological conditions of these miners. And uh, previously, some miners uh, said they want to eat some pickles and millet congee and also ham sausages. But doctors on the site on the site said. Uh, they have been trapped underground for so many days and their stomachs are too sensitive to handle pickles or sausages. After discussion, doctors agreed to deliver some uh, uh, millet congee, which is a, a very common uh, daily Chinese fare, and also the uh, probiotic yogurt uh, down to the tunnel in addition to the nutrient drinks. And uh, yeah, last night, uh, uh, rescuers retrieved another note from the miners asking for more telephones. Uh, this is because, like we said, the number three, the number three drill hole, number three drill hole, is the one that has reached the, the depth of uh, uh, 586 meters, where the 11 miners are trapped. The number three drill hole is very narrow. It's about uh, just uh, 30. It's about 30 centimeters. It's uh, in di in uh, in diameter. So. Uh, Rescuers are using this drill hole to deliver supplies to them. Every time when uh, miners finish the conversation with the doctors and experts on the surface, rescuers have to retrieve the telephone wire. Otherwise, they will be unable to deliver supplies down to them. Uh, uh, but you know, all these miners have been trapped underground for over 10 days. They're so worried they would lose contact with uh, people on the surface again. So they're asking for more telephones. Uh, rescuers soon delivered more telephones down to the tunnel as the backup. So, number ten drill hole is our uh, is our another hope to lift the miners up to the ground. Everyone is looking forward to the operation of number ten drill hole. But ex this morning, an expert also told me that uh, there might be some difficulties. Well, there might be some difficulties uh, in front of a uh, number 10 drill hole. Uh, like we mentioned, the, the main problem is the geological condition. The expert said uh, there, is the, there are some crushed zones underground and there are also zones holding water. 
as the number 10 trail uh, goes deeper, it might also it might also face the problem of uh, being stuck in the cracks underground or um, be, or being uh, affected by the groundwater. And actually, this morning, an expert told told me that if everything goes well, uh, it'll take about half a month to lift the rest, uh, lift the miners uh, to the ground. All right, this is uh, so much about uh, the latest updates about the rescue operation in Qixia, Shandong province. If you have any, qu any questions, do not hesitate to leave us your question on our, so uh, on our social media platforms, including Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Weibo. So thank you for your watching. See you next time.